and welcome to Let's Talk Topper, where we discuss important topics for incoming students. Parking, transportation, and the town that you live in are all points of interest for new students. Stay tuned as we talk about bringing your car to campus, other methods of travel, and things to do in and around Bowling Green. To start off, incoming freshmen are most eager to learn if they are allowed to park their car on campus. The answer is yes, WKU allows the students opportunities to purchase a parking pass. In general, a parking pass is required to park anywhere on campus, Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. There are permits for both students that live on campus as well as commuters. While other institutions charge hundreds of dollars for a parking permit, WKU passes range from just $50 to $240 you will be able to par purchase your parking pass over the summer on our parking and transportation website and have it mailed to your home so you can have it before the school year starts. Now you certainly don't have to bring a car to campus because WKU offers a lot of options to help you get around without bringing a personal vehicle. We offer shuttle services that will take you around campus, around Bowling Green, and even to the Nashville airport. The shuttle around campus and Bowling Green is free for all students and visitors. We even use this really cool geoposition tracking app called Nextbus, which allows you to see when the next bus is arriving at the stop that you're currently standing in. The Green Line is our free campus shuttle that will take you around the town of Bowling Green. It stops in areas with various restaurants, shopping, and entertainment like our movie theater. Additionally, we use the Bowling Green Shuttle for discounted rates to travel to and from the Nashville Airport. Students will just log on to their website using their NetID and password 24 hours in advance to their trip to reserve a spot. Visit the link below to learn more. Now that you have a better understanding of parking and how you can get around the town, we can start to discuss various places to go in Bowling Green. You're not just choosing a college, you're choosing a home for the next four years. And lucky for you, Bowling Green has been one, named one of the top 10 college towns in the United States. We are the third largest city in the state of Kentucky with a county population around 120,000. So there, are a, there is a wide variety of things to do in our town that fits the need of everyone. We are probably most known for being the hometown of major companies like Corvette and Fruit of the Loom, but beyond that, we have local restaurants and shops to make it feel like a quintessential college town. Less than a mile north of campus is our historic downtown square. At any point, you will find college students studying at the local Spencer's Coffee Shop or eating at Steamer Seafood, owned by WKU alum Dale Augustine. There are plenty of shops and boutiques, as well as a farmer's market on Saturdays. If staying outdoors is more your thing, Lost River Cave, co-owned by WKU, is just down the road and offers cave tours, hiking, and now even zip lining. Less than 30 minutes from campus is Mammoth Cave National Park, which is home to the world's largest and longest cave system. Beyond that, there are trails all over the city of Bowling Green for hiking, walking, and biking. If you are looking for a more metropolitan experience, WKU is a little over 65 miles from downtown Nashville, which pu puts Music City within an hour drive. There are plenty of things to explore here in Bowling Green and resources for transportation. Your new home awaits you on the hill and in Bowling Green. If you have any questions about parking and transportation, please feel free to reach out to the office with the contact information listed. And for more information about our town, you can visit the website provided. Thanks for tuning in and make sure to watch out for more episodes of Let's Talk Topper.